Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ariella. I'm a second year medical student and I make videos about what it's like to be a second year medical student. So as you guys know, I'm gonna be starting medical school in a couple of weeks and I've been trying to amp up my studying a little bit. I've been doing some studying over the entire summer, but I've definitely really been focusing on getting those Anki cards in and also doing some video reviews during these last two weeks before I start. Of course, that's not as helpful if you take a break over a long weekend and then you come back to 1500 cards, which I haven't even touched and it's already 1.30 p.m. Whoops. So lately I've been noticing that my studying has been lacking a really good anatomy review. And so you guys know that I use an Anki deck and that deck doesn't have a ton of anatomy cards in it. It will occasionally gloss over like one or two anatomy questions per deck, but that's in no way a comprehensive review for me. And because my school in particular places a very strong emphasis on an anatomical background for learning, I thought that I needed to improve my anatomy reviewing before I got to school. I've been searching for a good way to get a good anatomy review in, a very comprehensive one, while also maintaining my interest because as you guys know, anatomy was kind of a big struggle for me. It was unlike anything I had ever learned before and so I really had to work hard in order to be able to get it. And now that I'm a second year, I kind of want to find something that's going to help refresh my memory just because I know that I personally struggled with anatomy a lot and I don't want to lose everything that I worked so hard for first year. So that's when I was introduced to a program called Anatomy Bootcamp. I'm super excited to share this tool with you guys because I think it's going to be extremely useful for both people who are learning anatomy in the beginning and also people like me who need to have a comprehensive review of anatomy. It's definitely something that I wish I had personally had when I was learning anatomy the first time. This video is sponsored by Anatomy Bootcamp, but of course all opinions on this channel are my own and I would never recommend something to you guys that I wouldn't personally use myself. And I really think that this program is going to be super useful for medical education. So Anatomy Bootcamp is a comprehensive review of anatomy made in part by other medical students for medical students. It comes with plenty of review videos on different topics, mnemonics to help you keep that information, and then quizzes using real cadaver images and tagged structures in order to simulate a practical exam situation. For me, I think that's going to really help facilitate both lecture and lab learning if you guys have a dissection lab or a donor lab at your school. For me, the cadaver images are going to be key in this type of program. It's really difficult to try and filter through all the different low yield topics in some other anatomy atlases, things like Color Atlas of Anatomy or the apps that you can put on your iPad, they're going to be really specific, full of low yield structures that you probably don't really need to commit to memory, especially this early in your medical education. So I really wanted to find something that was tailored towards medical students. It can be really difficult and time consuming to go through every single one of these color atlas of anatomy photos and say, oh, do I need to know this structure? Is this structure important to my institution? Or can I just forget about it and not add it to say like my Anki deck that I'm studying? Not to mention the quiz section of the program is incredibly intuitive and I find that it gives you a realistic approach to practicing for your anatomy practicals which is going to be really important. So with all that information out of the way let's get on to the review portion of this video. So I'm here at my computer and I'm actually going to show you what the website looks like and how it works. I'll try and record my screen so that way you guys can see a little bit better how I am going through each of these modules and exactly how you can use this to study for anatomy. Alright guys, so I'm here on the anatomy bootcamp website. You go to anatomy.teambootcamp.com and I can click on the different classrooms that are involved. So right now, the only thing available is the upper and lower limbs and back section, but the thorax, abdomen, and pelvis and the head and neck sections should be coming soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the upper limbs section. And I did go through the pectoral one, so I'm gonna do the scapular region and posterior arm next. With no membership, you guys can actually get access to one quiz and each of these modules. So even without having a membership, you can still utilize this tool. 
Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to download this PDF outline and just take a look at it. So this is the actual PDF that they're going to be teaching off of and they've got a ton of labeled images and structures, which is awesome. If I was going to be learning anatomy for the first time, what I would most likely do is either print these out or put them on my iPad so that way I had them and I could annotate along with the module. All right, so heading back, we're gonna go ahead and play the scapular region and posterior arm video and then quiz myself to see if I accurately learned and remembered this information. Hey guys, it's Whitney from Anatomy Bootcamp. So really quickly before we start, you guys know me and you know that I prefer to watch things on a much faster speed than they actually are originally filmed in, which is totally fine. It's up to you whether or not you like to watch your modules faster or slower, but if you do like to watch them faster, they do have a built-in speed setting. So I can set mine to one time speed, 1.25, 1.5, or two times speed, depending on my preference. So that's a really nice feature that's built into the modules already, because sometimes I find that I actually lose motivation and I can't really focus as well if the video is too slow for me. So I'm gonna set this one to 1.5 times speed and go ahead and listen to the rest of it, but I'll slow it down once I want to point something out that I think is cool or interesting Interesting. Um, I have these guys boxed out just to remember the pattern between major and minor. Um, throughout the entire body, pretty much, I'd say like 95% of the time, major will be inferior and then minor will be superior. And obviously major will be bigger and minor will be smaller. That's actually a funny note because when I was going through and learning anatomy, somebody told me probably halfway through the semester that the major always holds up the minor. And so this is something that I think is really important and really cool that it was in one of these beginning videos. So if I had watched this, I would have known and I would have been able to make that connection faster versus somebody telling me on the off chance that the major holds up the minor and is the foundation for the minor. So I just thought that was kind of a fun note because I'm not a big mnemonic person personally, but for anatomy, I do find them very useful. So if you guys are mnemonic people, you will love this. The rotator cuff muscles are very high yield muscles just because there's a lot going on in that particular area, which I'm sure she's probably going to get to. That's also the acronym that basically everybody uses. I think everyone calls them the sits muscles. We definitely did, so that's fun to see. So you're side of the arm, and we're just gonna talk about the triceps. So triceps, three heads. Um, did you know that there are three different names and they all have their own name for the head? That's also another really nice thing that she mentions is that when you're actually in lab and you're looking at real human anatomy, there is oftentimes a ton of variation in the artery structures and sometimes even in the nerves. So the fact that she mentions that during the lecture image portion is really useful. And I'll raise the water, or maybe, of course we go under the bridge on the water, right? That is also something that showed up on both my practical exam when we learned it and my cumulative final exam. So it just goes to show that a lot of these topics are definitely going to be geared towards things that are high yield for medical students. Because if I had this question twice in anatomy, that means that it was really important. Can you switch it to the other side and now do it for a right posterior shoulder? This honestly is a challenge for a lot of people. So if you can do it, 10 points to Gryffindor. So Again, that's another thing that's extremely useful actually for lab information. When you practice labeling and assigning structures, you always want to do both sides because if you practice the right side really, really well, it's hard to then flip that and make your brain know the opposite side. Awesome tip right there. Mid-shaft humoral break was also on one of my exams. I'm actually a really big fan of this final slide here because it's easy to actually sit through a lecture and try to absorb information, but at the end to have some distinct goals that you want to be able to do is really nice. That way, if you can't draw all the arteries around the scapula, you know that you need to go back and practice that. So having these goals at the end of the video, I think is a really great way to study. So now that we have finished the video, I'm gonna go ahead and start the quiz. So in order to access all of the quizzes, you do need to upgrade your membership, but for right now, it is 
free for everyone to do the first case or first quiz for every lecture. So that's a super nice thing because it can help you consolidate the information that you just learned. Once you've gone through those goals at the end of the video and you feel really confident, having a quiz in order to be able to test your knowledge is going to be super useful. So because I'm feeling confident, I am not going to draw out those structures and we'll see if I do well enough. This is another area, the upper arm and forearm areas of anatomy really just got me. So hopefully I can do well on this quiz. This one is 13 questions. And if I was doing this for the first time, if I was learning anatomy, most likely what I would do is I would set a recurring 60 second timer because when I was in anatomy, in our practicals, which is going into the anatomy lab and looking at tagged structures and having to write down what they are, we had a 60 second time limit per structure before we had to move on to the next table. So if I was going to practice and I wanted to re-simulate that environment, that's definitely what I would do. Because this is just a review for me, I'm gonna give myself as much time as I need, but that's a little tip for you guys. Make sure that you are always practicing using the most accurate timing as possible so that way you perform the best when you get to your actual assessment. All right, let's do this. I'm ready to start the quiz. All right guys, so I am going to block this out, the cadaver image for just a couple seconds here. If you are sensitive to things like that, please turn off the video now and maybe skip to this time that I'll have on screen. So that way you can see what my final review of the product is if you are sensitive to seeing images of cadavers and things like that. So if you are not sensitive, I'm going to unblock the image now. All right, everyone, so this is our first question. It looks like this is the muscle that is tagged here. And so I'm going to go through these question options and see which one I like best and which one I don't really think is reasonable. So option A is the deltoid. I don't really like the deltoid because I know that the deltoid is going to be on the superior part of the shoulder and it's also going to be much more lateral on the side. So I don't think deltoid is it, but let's move on to the next option. So the next option is Terry's minor. So I know from the video that she said that teres minor is a very thin muscle. It's almost indistinguishable from infraspinatus. So this looks like a very thick fat muscle. So I don't think it's going to be teres minor, but because it's a thick fat muscle that's sitting underneath infraspinatus, I'm thinking that this is probably teres major because of what I said before, the major always holds up the minor. And lastly, we have trapezius. So I know that because I can see the infraspinatus muscle and the supraspinatus muscle here, that the trapezius has likely been reflected away. So I think that this is going to be Terry's major. And you don't see your answers to the quiz until you've finished it. So while I'm here, I'm just going to quickly run through the rest of this quiz. I won't take you guys through each question. If you're interested in doing it, definitely log on and take this quiz yourself. And I will see you at the end when I get my results. Something I will say really quickly before I submit this, and actually I will zoom in here and show you. So I'm not sure if this has been artificially colored afterward in order to look a certain way. It looks like it might have been, and that definitely makes it a little bit easier when you're looking at images instead of looking at something in the lab. But just know that in lab, arteries and nerves don't have this coloration, so it's not gonna be this like really bright red and then this really pale yellow for nerves. In general, nerves, kind of are a little bit of a pale yellow white color and the arteries aren't going to be this red unless they have coagulated blood in them so just a note that sometimes they can look more similar than you might otherwise think they are by looking at images of cadavers or illustrations in books so that's why using this ligament as a landmark and seeing that one nerve goes under and one artery goes over even if you can't tell by looking and feeling the texture if it's an artery or a nerve i know that this one is going over top of the ligament and this one is going under the ligament so army over the bridge navy under the bridge artery over, nerve under. And that's just one way that you can use some of these relationships in physical space in order to actually help you identify what something is. 
All right, so let's submit my quiz and see how I did. 10 out of 13, okay, that's not bad, considering I really have not done anatomy in quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the review from these questions and see which ones I got wrong and really spend time going through those topics. But I really hadn't remembered a lot of this information until I watched this video. So personally, I'm pretty happy with the 10 out of 13 after not looking at anatomy for months. So when you're in the review section, you can tag questions as learning, reviewing, or mastered. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and tag the ones that I got right, mastered, and then I'm going to tag the ones that I did not get correct, learning. So the first thing that we're gonna see here is going to be our trapezius. So as we see it on the diagram, all right, so I also got this question wrong, so I'm going to mark this learning. I couldn't remember where the acromion and where the coracoid processes were. I get those confused a lot, so I'm going to mark this as learning. That way I can come back to it in the future and remind myself. All right, guys, so I am done with reviewing my answers, so I'm just going to click complete review, and now I am back at the home page, and I can move on to either another quiz or another lesson. So now that I've watched the entire video and taken the quiz, I'm going to sit down and give you guys my final review. So I just want to start off by saying that if you're an undergrad watching my videos, I think these videos are pretty clearly geared towards a medical student's curriculum. So this might not be for you, but I would definitely keep it in mind for the future if you are planning on going to medical school. It's just a little bit more in depth in my opinion than you need for undergrad. If you are a medical student, I think this could be a really useful tool for you when you're learning anatomy, especially if you have no familiarity with anatomy, like I had no familiarity when I was coming into medical school. So like I said, I definitely think it is super important to practice with real cadaver images because that's what you're going to be seeing in your practical exams. And if you can identify something on a cadaver, you can definitely handle written information. So in my opinion, that's definitely the best way to study for your practicals and your written exams. And it is definitely extremely difficult to identify structures in lab if all you've seen are perfect drawings. Because at the end of the day, things are going to look so much much different on an actual human body than they are in a perfect idealized drawing. So I highly recommend this to you if you're a medical student looking for a resource to use that's going to be both high yield and also really comprehensive as a medical student. It doesn't go into so much detail that it's overwhelming and you could get it out of an atlas, but it also doesn't go into so few details like my Anki decks that I'm not getting a good review of the actual anatomy. And even if you're using Using this as a refresher for high yield topics, I think that this could be a perfect resource for studying for boards and getting those super high yield topics in like the brachial plexus and the different spaces in the posterior arm. There's tons of different weird high yield anatomy facts that I think this would be a perfect way to learn. The modules are relatively short and manageable, so they would definitely be able to fit into your schedule as a first year or second year medical student very well. Unfortunately, currently they only have reviews for the upper arm, the axilla, the anterior arm, forearm, and hand right now, but there is additional content coming in fall of 2020. And I'm definitely going to be doing the forearm one next because this is the area that I struggled the most with during anatomy. I watched so many videos and I really just could not figure it out. So I'm definitely gonna hit that one up next because there's so many little muscles in the arm, it's insane. You guys saw that the modules that I did are free to everyone online right now, but the quizzes were not. Currently, it's $50 for full access to the entire membership. However, if you guys go through the link in the description, it'll be free for you through the end of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like I said, I highly recommend this service and I definitely would not recommend it if it wasn't something that I personally was going to use. I'm definitely going to go through these modules and quizzes before I start second year so that I have a really good foundation of anatomy in order to be able to start successfully. Leave a like and subscribe subscribe down below if you want to follow my journey through medical school and see me start second year and I will see you in the next one. Bye!